Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, 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 Andrew. Andrew. Good morning, AC. It's Monday, January 31st. I'm Brad Smith here with Alex Lingle, and we're here with your announcements for today. Reminder from the Media Center, if you need to borrow a loan or computer, you must fill out the form on Schoology. If your computer is already dead, ask a friend or your teacher to fill it out for you. Do not come to the Media Center to ask for a computer. A loaner will be delivered to your classroom. It's pretty fancy. That is. It is best to realize you have a problem early in the day and be proactive. If it is very low in first period, ask for a loaner. Don't wait until it dies. The Lost and Found is located in the nurse's office. If you have lost anything throughout the first half of the school year, please stop by the nurse's office before or after school to check for your items. Any items still left in the Lost and Found after February 8th will be donated to charity. If you have any questions, please contact the high school office. You better go get your items, Brad. I better. To all middle school students, if you attend or bring your friend to Chorus Day and would like to sign up for Chorus, please return the permission slip by Thursday, February 3rd to Mrs. Cranny. If you didn't attend that rehearsal and you'd like to join the Chorus, please see Mrs. Cranny for information on how to sign up. The first day of Chorus for new members will be Tuesday, February 7th. Are you coming with me? I'm going with you, Brad. All right. Today's lunch is Alex's favorite spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. That's all for your announcements, AC. As of today, we have 85 more days until the last day of school. Did you know that in April 2021, Steph Curry set an astounding NBA record with 85 three-pointers in a month? That's pretty impressive, Brad. It is. But not as impressive as realizing we only have 85 days left of school. Have a good day, AC. And here's your joke of day, courtesy of Mr. Krause. So hey, what'd the cops say to his belly button? You're under a vest. <laughs>